Okay, moving right along to the down lighters now. Now these are going to be made up of three materials: a sort of a uh, shiny chrome, a matte chrome, and a, a sort of light bulb uh, type material. Now what I've done off camera is these are all individual lights originally, so I basically just deleted them and uh, just left one. here and I just basically right clicked and did an instance and then duplicate the instance just so we can put the materials on one and that will automatically update the others. Okay so this is the one we're actually going to put the materials on. So I'm going to come up here to my item cam and shift A just to just so we can see it. I'm going to change the render image over to the item cam as well. Okay so there's no materials as yet on here. First thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to select everything and just hit M and uh, I'm just going to put macro. So I'm going to come over to uh, the materials in Luxology there. We're going to come to metal, chrome, macro, and just drag that straight on. We'll delete our original material move the two out of the, the Mac Chrome group and delete the group node. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do we just pause this render that'll speed things up for us. I'm gonna just select two of these polys here and hit the L key to loop round. Just so I've got that section selected there, I'm going to hit M and we're going to use the normal shiny chrome we've already got within the scene. I'm going to come over to lists and we'll look at the material by chrome. So then the last thing to add is I'm just going to do the same. I'm just going to Select all these middle bits. I'm going to hit the M key. I'm going to call this material bulb. Now these ones are done, but these ones need uh, the bulb needs looking at. Okay, so the bulbs are going to come in two different guises. If you remember from there earlier, when we're going to do the final renders, we're going to do uh, three shots. We're going to do a sort of a day shot, just using the environment light coming through the windows. So therefore, we want these bulbs to be in an off uh, sort of fashion, and then we're going to have some just lit from these down lighters. So these are going to need to be on, and uh, we're also going to have some candle lit, which are going to be off. So we're going to need two materials here. So what I'm going to do, even though these always say material, you can still rename these. So I'm just going to call this. Bulb off. Now, bulb off is basically a, def a f default type material. So we'll come over to properties. We'll go to uh, material references. That so 80 is the sort of default. Uh, it's just a sort of a light grey, 0.9 for each of the RGBs. Uh, a specular, I'm just going to put back to the 20 as it comes in, just so we can see. Uh, so one is all 20 is a default. 40% is a default. Um, for the reflection, I'm going to put this on 10. 80 in the Fresnel and over in the material trans subsurface I'm going to put on to about 15% and then for the colour I'm going to make it like a desaturated peach I don't know if I put a bit less in this one 33 so there's our bulb in the off position so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to come over to uh, right click on it and hit duplicate I'm going to rename this one Bulb On and then when we're doing the actual final scene uh, renders we can just switch this one on and off uh, accordingly. So for the Bulb On that's basically we're going to take anything off here Diffuse, Specular, Reflections 
we're going to come over, we can also turn the subsurface off. The only thing I'm going to put on, I'm going to bring up the luminosity to 3. And I'm going to put... I'm just going to go a bit towards the blue end. But we'll see, because these are going to be, the scene's going to be lit by uh, photometric lights. So we'll see what the colour of the photometric light is. Then we can come back in and change the luminosity colour uh, accordingly. So there's basically our our downlight is finished. Now just by doing that one, that will actually update all the others, these ones along here and these ones here. So that's a job job well done. Uh, the only other thing I've done off camera is I just made a tweak to this uh, wall brick material. I just cut the the roughness down 40 to 20 I believe and uh, the bump from 2 mil to 1.5 mil. Um, but nothing really has changed. That didn't affect it much. But So when we come back in the next part we're going to basically finish this off now. We'll do those next two parts all together. Uh, we've got the mirror to do which is nice and quick. We've got these photo frames which are really quick. Uh, and this bottom I'm going to... Originally there was a... Uh, if we come down here... There was some uplighters underneath and I was going to have some water running along here. But to be honest, I did a few tests and it just looks... To be honest, it just looks out of place and it almost looks like you're stepping over a groove and as it's in the middle of the floor that wouldn't be appropriate you know, if you're walking between these areas uh, to have this, even though that was going to have a glass pane on it it just it just doesn't look right uh, the composition of the room just doesn't it doesn't suit it so what we'll do, we'll put a different type of um, we'll try a different type of stone in there just to break this room up if not we'll put it all back to uh, just a floor but that would be nice to have something uh, running there we need to put some water down here as well but that's just a, a quick job so when we come back in the next part we'll do the, the mirror and the pictures. So I'll see you for that part. Bye for now.